Well, after about three rain delays this morning, I'm finally gonna start to saw. I started out this morning at about 9.30 over here and the grass grew up on me. I've not been over here in about three weeks to do any sawing, so I had to bring my weed eater to cut the uh, grass down a little bit. And it started raining, it would rain for 20 minutes and stop, 30 minutes and stop. It's kind of frustrating this morning. It's already 12 o'clock and at three o'clock I got picked Bruno up from school. So we will at least get this one walnut log over here sawed up today. It's a real nice one. We'll go over the measurements here before we saw it. And I didn't have my buddy over here today. He's busy on the other side of the farm. So we had to use the truck to kind of pull the logs over. You don't always have the best equipment on hand to move this stuff around, but if you got a good truck, that truck's a, uh, it's a three quarter ton, 2500 HD Chevy. It's got a gas engine, not the diesel, but it does pretty good on the pulling stuff around like this. I think it'll tow about 14,000 pounds. So that log wasn't no big deal at all to pull it over. But right behind it, I got a really nice crotch log as well. Probably won't get to that one today. Depends on how much we get done, as long as this rain holds off. So let's get going. So this is the large end of the log, or the butt cut rather, right here at the ground where it was cut. And there's some ants coming out. Might have a little bit of uh, some infestation problems here. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. But the diameter down here is about, well it swells out. There's a lot of swell from the roots, so it ain't gonna be real accurate. It's showing 28 inches, but if you take that swell out of there, it's probably about 22 here on the large end. And then here on the small end, which is away from me, ideally you want the small end facing you. But when you don't have a tractor here to move them around, you do the best you can. And the small end is about 18 and a half inches. And I think the length on this one is right at nine feet. I could be wrong. Nine feet.
see how we did. What did you think about it? No metal. This was in a fence roll, and this is the butt cut of the tree, and I thought I might hit some metal in it. But no metal so far. We may hit some metal when we get closer to the juvenile wood and toward the pith. So far, so good. Let's take this first slab off and see what we got. Nice and solid. Good stuff. Let's go get our scraper out. See what the grain looks like. Should have some good color in here. Good stuff. Sap line is really small here on the ends. It's about an inch thick, not much sap at all. Mostly heartwood, good color. Fantastic. And another side note here, the blades that I'm using are the ones that I'm sharpening and I've also used the setter on. So it's the first time I've used the blades after I've sharpened them and I've set them. And it has a really good finish on it. Really good, the teeth are in alignment. Nice. Looks really good. This has turned out to be a very good day. Before we throw some water on this, let's cut about one or two more slabs and flip them over. And do a little comparison and uh, should look pretty good. Beautiful stuff. Only one knot right here in the middle. The rest of it is clear of knots. Only one. In case I haven't mentioned it, this is the best job in the world. You can't beat this. You have to open up these things and see them for the first time. Share them with you guys so you guys get to see it also. This never gets old. Let's keep sawing. I took a measurement while I was sawing, and these are right at 20 inches wide. That's some premium walnut right there. You know, in this area, anything wider than 10 to 12 inches in black walnut is considered premium. Those wider boards are hard to come by. Thing is heavy. Thing is really heavy. 